Satnam, everybody, <laughs> here again, Karta Time 5. So I'm sorry for the delay and uh, for those who were expecting me uh, uh, this uh, last uh, Sunday, but the Wi-Fi had a problem and for some reason uh, something went wrong. So uh, I'm back on and uh, I just find the time now in, in Russia in a beautiful environment where we have our level two on the mind, which is very appropriate um, to uh, catch up with everybody. I heard so many people uh, are waiting for this uh, um, information and practice and uh, everywhere I go, I'm so touched by uh, all your words of uh, comfort about Carter time and what it does to you. So. This uh, planetary connection for me is very dear to my heart and it really um, um, inspires me to continue. That's why I don't want to let go uh, and keep up. Uh, through the mosquitoes here we are near a river and it's a place uh, of the spring and all this energy uh, sprouting. So my message to you uh, this time is uh, um, looking to the experience. I mean, I'm grateful for this weekend in Karlsruhe where we just uh, have been uh, two days ago. And um, this was uh, uh, 10 years after, and it was an amazing uh, connection beyond time where I saw all these uh, old timers coming and sharing how they keep up and went through the time and all the, the new students, we had about 70 people and it was beautiful summer and uh, so touching energy. So um, I feel we are on time now catching up and uh, I see what this uh, seven, 10 years uh, of time we went through since the uh, 12s, uh, what it brought us. Uh, so at first time we could consider that we went through a big loss and each of us, uh, we have lost something. Uh, it was our attachment to the form, to the way we were uh, going through the teaching and all the environment. Uh, so as well, myself uh, ahead of time went through this uh, total change and uh, letting go, then all of the students were uh, in the path with me had to go through themselves, uh, consider uh, many losses as well uh, about their spiritual path, about their choices, but also it touched them in their own life. So the good news today, seven years later, is our losses are our pluses. So this is, a, this is an incredible uh, realization. We, have, uh, we see we were in training to face the time of today, and if we would let ourselves confine in the limitation we had in those times, we would not be able to face these uh, amazing possibilities that are coming to us today. So this weekend is the full moon uh, in Vesak. So this was the combination of Buddha consciousness and Christ consciousness. So this is an amazing uh, crossroad. And I think we are all on that cross line, cross spot. So, uh, if we totally embrace and finish to process our losses, this process takes us to embrace the part of us that was attached to that past image of ourself. And this is uh, now uh, uh, an aspect of regression and we need to take that part with us and say, uh, I love you as you have been, I love you for what you went through. I love you for the courage you put into the changes and I love you for who you are at all. And then embrace yourself, embrace your past totally with no shame, no guilt and no judgment. And this is a, a opening of the heart. We are entering an amazing acceleration of opening of our heart. And the first step is in integration of that past and all the losses that can become now a plus for you. So uh, I have, uh, we had a mentor group actually in uh, our, uh, I think it was a level two group. 
uh, where we have such an incredible synchronization of uh, uh, people going through very deep dreams where the subconscious load were coming up uh, like reliving it. I was speaking about the last quarter time, this uh, like chewing again. So it happened through the dreams and they, they had amazing realization about things they needed to forgive and uh, situation transposed in a language of dreams where the energy was real and actually at the end of that people have processed a subconscious aspect they couldn't even remember they had and they came up and they could free themselves and forgive and open up to love again toward the people or circumstances where they they've been frustrated they felt they've uh, been lost or abandoned or whatever was the situation so I think this is a great time if you share your dreams and if you uh, read your own dreams or rem remember that you, you you are able to your subconscious now is this a collective subconscious is coming up and the surface and these are the the stages where we can remember uh, and then we can be grateful for the process where we can forgive and open our heart again. So this is one example how it can happen to you and I think it, it was so obvious and so amazing because not one person but at least I mean more than half of the group had a similar experience with themselves with their dreams. So um, we are on the collective awakening to a new level of love this is definitely uh, totally obvious and for those who are open to it so uh, we have that in one hand in our back you remember last month it was this be begin facing the wall of impossibility and jumping over i think this month we are just passing this wall of impossibility so what is behind is many possibilities so <laughs> If we are in the same time finishing processing to forgive, to integrate our past, at the same time facing so many possibilities with not being able to choose, we are overwhelmed. So this is gonna put on you a, a heavy load and you feel like tired and uh, uh, not doing anything, not motivated. You, you don't know, you, you, you know you can't go forward so quickly and you know you can't choose so quickly and you are still processing the subconscious. So what is the great idea is practice uh, peace of mind, you know, opening your heart and center yourself and be present to yourself in the now because this is a crucial moment where you can appreciate again the sense of humor the inner joy and calm down peace your mind so i think this is remembering that uh, this is a time to remember that that we are you man which is you enlightened and man, manas, mind, enlightened mind. Uh, this is what we have been told that meditation will help you not only to bring the subconscious up and to process it and embrace it, but it will bring you in connection with your higher self and have that uh, light coming into the mind where peace and happiness are just the same space when you calm down the agitation of the mind looking for the future or for the past your front lobe will be so much at peace that what the result is just inner joy that comes along with inner happiness so embracing the vastness that is uh, offered to you now with uh, open heart is the two picture i see with this mix of uh, buddha and christ consciousness the Christ was on the cross and saying, forgive them, they don't know what they are doing. Yeah. So remember these seven years, they didn't know what they were doing, but actually they were helping and supporting you to be ready for the time now. So forgive and thanks. And by the way, I want to thank everybody who contribute to my transformation and uh, I ask forgiveness for those I may have hurt and felt at that time that I was going wrong and I was going astray. 
but actually I was following the line and my orbit and my intention to uh, stay on the spiritual path no matter what and that has always been my intention to be on the path of light and I maintain myself and my statement and by that grace uh, I could forgive all those I felt at that time was uh, misleaded or didn't understand what the time was uh, saying and I also asked them to forgive me if uh, they felt I betrayed them or I was going in the wrong direction. Uh, today uh, I can tell you I never changed my direction, I never had one minute where I could doubt about the values and what my choice have been. So. I forgive myself also for what uh, went wrong with me, if there is anything like this. But deeply inside me, I could integrate uh, uh, my own um, experience and uh, stay open to the uh, universal love and unconditional love. So uh, I, I invite you to move in the direction that the future is based on forgiveness and love and uh, I wish you will be able to transform your losses with your own love and appreciation, open yourself to this vastness of the tomorrow and be ready to embrace these uh, amazing possibilities which is the other arms open of the Buddha who welcome all reality as it is. We are each of us uh, a divine being, a human being. So from the divine source and concentrate and just project that on anyone you meet, anyone you have met in the past. And remember that we come from the one source, the one love, and this is not changing. So it is a great time of this great awakening where we can consciously choose now to live for forgiveness, compassion, and open heart. So I think uh, until the summer, it's going to be an increasing acceleration of people who pop up uh, the surface of this collective subconscious with so many old resentment from all the history and able to forgive, to let go, to cut the attachment to these uh, old loyalties and open up to a new fresh heart, a new fresh love with no condition. So uh, when we open up to this vastness, what we understand is there is much more to life than we ever saw before. And to embrace this much more, it will make you feel ease and relax. Uh, the worry is if you drop your job, if you drop uh, the old value system, if you want to emancipate yourself for what limits you and the box you were in, I know what it takes. I mean, I was in there. And when you, you cross this wall and you face this void, there's a terrible fear about <laughs> how I'm going to face this so many possibilities that I can choose and you should not choose. That's the key thing. I, I was holding myself and I really observed that all the old pattern going with the mind and projecting and planning and organizing doesn't work. We don't need this anymore. We just need to welcome possibilities and potential of the mores and see the one that going to come to us that are more uh, uh, specific for us. And this is going to come step by step. So we don't need to hurry up and jump on things like we used to do. It is a time to really relax, take a stand, uh, sit down, meditate, and let all these things coming to you. So this is my advice. Uh, and I guess you are, most of you in that uh, situation now where many possibilities are coming and you are about to leave the old world and let go the old way of functioning and you are facing beyond the wall of impossibilities. You went through that and you give yourself an access to so many new possible. So this place, why is it so confusing because there is so many possibilities? 
is because we need to teach ourselves to change reference of mind. We use to trust our lower mind because it leads us to function. The functional mind tell you left, right, yes, no, you like it, you don't like it, is it better here, is it better there? All this we have done it so many times, we have rebuilt so many sort of life business plan where we want to go, what we want to build, what we dream of and all that stuff. This is not the way anymore. We need to raise the frequency of the mind, not only the physical frequency or the emotional frequency, but the mind frequency. And that's what in yoga we call buddhi mind. The buddhi is an amazing space. It's very hard to describe and I will not even try because that the lower mind would like to, <laughs> to control the higher mind. So I'm not going there. I'm just telling you the buddhi mind is a buddhi all-inclusive that includes all reality as it is. And this is not something you can dictate it, you can logically go. You just need to sit down and open, open, open your space, raise your frequency and just be in this buddhi where you can absolutely contemplate, include, open, bring something, anything into your heart and resolve it in the heart. So it will make you feel the peace and that peace will rejoice you. Just this feeling, overwhelming feeling of rejoicing the time for not doing anything, not going anywhere. So this is just be there in the now for a moment every morning. That's where I would like to invite you to really take that time to immerse yourself in the moody mind in the morning and to be in that frequency where the guidance can come where we can see a line in the vastness of possibilities and mores that are coming to us. Uh, we, we can see a sort of a guidance and connect to the guides that you, with your unique higher self, you can answer the call of what is needed today on this planet and not anymore how you are super excellent to function and all your PhD diploma, but now be a PhD of a higher self. That means anybody is qualified if you qualify yourself as a human, enlightened mind. That's what we most precious value we have now is remember. You know that is our weakness. I tell you all that. You may agree with that. You may have had experience of high in your meditation. You may believe it, but you still, it will take a few days and to forget it. So that's why we have this sadhana concept and this daily practice. We want every day to start the day, contemplate yourself and from the buddhi space, consider yourself, appreciate yourself as an enlightened mind, an enlightened person, a divine person. And reaffirm, remember that we come from the source of the oneness of the one heart and our heart is resonated with that oneness. That's what Nanak told us, Ekkonkar Satyanam. It's all come from the one. We are all in the multiplicity resonating with the oneness, but we just keep forgetting this. We, we just attach to our differences and separation. It is time to gather ourselves again and connect with the one heart in our heart center. So I think this month of May and until June, the solstice where the heart and the sun will be to the biggest opening, we can prepare ourselves for this bursting of a, a new collective heart where we can resonate and celebrate uh, the one sun, the one light and the one soul of all of us. So um, this is my, my message. I think uh, the summer awakening is uh, anticipating and we can see uh, it's a very amazing uh, blossoming and fruitful time coming ahead. Uh, we don't need to go there. All we need is to prepare ourselves to include, to be inclusive, to be open, 
to opportunities and possibilities we never seen before and also because the field of mind is uh, elevating the interaction between all of these people who are going to practice, meditate and be in that peace and joy will affect the field necessarily. You remember there is a back and forth. The field is talking to us and there is this change in the Aquarian Age and our personal field of mind is sending back our resonance to that. If we align with the peace and the joy, that's the, that's the wave we, we are sending all around and will increase by the fact that we all doing that. You understand the idea is uh, joining in the same field of resonance of peace and oneness. So, of course, this was always the teaching of all the teachers, but now is the time where we can effectively practice it and have that amazing uh, effect of synergy between all of us with uh, going with the flow and with the time. So uh, I think that was the content of my message. I think I <laughs> have been quite scattered last time and you probably have got it uh, broken in pieces. So this is, I hope, the, the full scope of what I wanted to tell you. And uh, so therefore, uh, I would like now to share with you uh, the practice we're going to do for this month, which is uh, centered around remember I am you man and uh, through the opening of the heart. Um, so uh, first in the morning, I uh, would re uh, invite you to practice this uh, Kriya of cold shower, but not uh, one minute, not three minutes, 11 minutes. So this is a, a first, uh, instead of shock, a first awakening. So if you go for um, oil massage over the whole body, like a Ayurvedic massage or simple massage, then your body will be open and prepare to receive uh, the cold shower. And that will activate all the vessels, all uh, your strengths in your heart and your nervous system that we need at the moment. You can rub yourself strongly and breathe, breathe powerfully and have that amazing effect of uh, immediate awakening in the physical body. So then uh, I invite you to go in your meditative uh, room where you can uh, start uh, practicing uh, pranayama to open all the channel and uh, accumulate more uh, prana you need to face the day and face your own uh, higher self. So as we, have, uh, we are in the period of start and restart and resurrection, uh, we're going to go with the Mool Mantra. The Mool Mantra is a perfect... Uh, a mantra that we can uh, repeat and do japa for uh, renewing ourselves, renewing our life and starting new. So the pranayama is a uh, structure uh, one, three, one. I inhale one mul mantra, I hold the breath three mul mantra and I exhale one mul mantra. It's a very powerful. The mantra is said mentally and the breath goes along. So I want you to do this with uh, Ujjaya, Udhyana Bandha and uh, Ujjaya breath. So you, you're going to lift up the chest and do like a beginner posture where you, your shoulder goes up, your navel and stomach comes in and the chest comes up. And the, so the chin is against the upper chest and you inhale slowly from the side, uh, your rib cage and bring it up, bring the, the air all the way to the collar bones. Inhaling up and locked the Jalanda. So when you are here you lock it and you hold yourself up like a good beginner practitioner and you hold three Mool Mantra. And when you finish the three Mool Mantra you inhale a little bit and exhale slowly through the nose one Mool Mantra. So the length of the Mool Mantra is the same. Inhale hold three times and exhale one. You exhale top down. So from the collarbones you exhale and squeeze your rib cage again and you're down empty and you inhale again with the navel in 
the stomach in, the solar plexus in, and the diaphragm coming up. Inhale, bring your chest up, bring the hair up, and hold. That's the pranayama. You can do this for 11 minutes. I even suggested to do 22 minutes. You're gonna get really high. <laughs> so uh, if you have time, do 22. If you don't, do 11 minutes as a minimum practice. It will fill up uh, all your body with prana, renew prana. So when you have done that, I suggest a short kriya again where you uh, this kriya, your intention is I remember I am divine. I remember the one who created me has no limit and that's what gives me life and give me my breath every day. So the idea is to awaken this remembering. So this is in the navel. The navel is where you were born with the umbilic. So we want to stimulate this umbilic to remember I am born every day, every breath I'm reborn again with the breath of life. And I'm thankful to be uh, the son of the divine, the, the daughter of the divine, uh, so the children of the divine. <laughs> so we put our hands parallel to the ground and the level of the diaphragm, and we're gonna drop the lower jaw. <laughs> so you, you lock your chin in <clears throat> and you pump the navel. <laughs> You pump with your hands and you pump the navel in every time and you fo close your eyes, focus on your third eye. <laughs> and you remember that birth that you are born from the divine will, you are born from the breath of life and you remember that first breath and this is your breathing every time again, 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 again. You do this for 11 minutes. <laughs> When you finish your 11 minutes, you inhale, exhale, hold the breath out, pull the navel in, and just distribute all this energy all around you in all the cells. And now you're gonna stretch your arms up and the arms face each other. Keep it stretched up, concentrate on the top of your head. And now you breathe through the nose, very slow, very deep, long and deep. And this is the time to uh, meditate on your divinity. So, I am the light of my soul. I am a beautiful creation of the divine. I am enlightened. I am an enlightened mind. I let all things come to me. All is provided. So try to remember that when you meditate, I am this creation of the divine. I'm a divine creator. I'm, I am beautiful. I am human. I am enlightened mind. I let things come to me. I'm provided. So just meditate and just see yourself very peaceful, very joyful, with no limit, and connect to your highest identity. I am that. I am that creation. I am that child of the divine and this you repeat to yourself you feel it try to create that feeling of being unlimited being full of light being peaceful and blissful so this is a, a very deep practice where you remember who you are you are coming from the field you are coming from the light and we are going back to the light. And just remember that and fill yourself up with that frequency and see what it does for seven minutes. So the first one is 11 minutes and the second one is seven minutes. So with the 11 minutes pranayama is half an hour like usual. 
and that's your minimum practice and it will open your day toward a new life. So um, I wish you practice it with uh, success. Uh, you can practice it also together if you like to join together to practice. And of course, at the end of the day, this is the morning practice. At the end of the day, try to look through your day how it was amazing to manifest your day through the remembering that you are divine. And how many times did you forget through the day? And how many times did you have this remembering and apply it to the circumstance that wanted to prove you limited, restricted, or put you in impossible corner and that you were opening your space again by remembering, I am divine, I have no limit. And see how it works. And you can write a diary in the evening for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, how it works for you, how you can apply it. I wish you success in this practice. Uh, I, I will see you again uh, before I go to India for the Panchakarma uh, in June. I don't know exactly the day, but I will tell you soon. I'm really, really touched and uh, very honored for your presence. Also, I, I saw that you uh, answered the call. We needed uh, people to register because we know you are watching it, but you were not registered. So now we passed a thousand people. So this is great, great, great. I just thank you everyone. And until June, all my love, all my blessing. Satnam, radiate your love.